Hello friends, welcome back to a, another episode of the Reedy Chronicles. Wanted to share with you, and it comes out of the American Hunter, which is a magazine that I get from the National Rifle Association. And of course, I've been a member of the National Rifle Association for, well, I don't know how many years, since 1986. But uh, in this American Hunter edition, February 2020, of course, uh, it says you are a voting member, cast your vote today in the official uh, NRA ballots inside so all the members can vote on this uh, official voting ballot. And of course, it's the uh, association has the director's election going on. But what I wanted to share with you today, and it comes out every month, it's the Armed Citizen report and I want to read you uh, for this February 2020 edition the armed citizen a man and his mother were working at an Akron Ohio beauty supply store when two alleged armed robbers wearing masks and gloves entered around 7 p.m. on November 15th both employees were behind the counter of the glass fronted store during the alleged robbery, the son pushed his mother back to protect her, drew his gun, and fired a few shots at the masked men, fatally wounding one in the head. The dead robber's handgun found on the floor nearby was loaded. The other suspect crouched down, crawled out of the store, and fled. The alleged robbery was recorded on store security cameras. Days earlier, the armed citizen's father suggested he bring a firearm to work after noticing a suspicious man entering the store. The other suspect, uh, suspected robber was still at large, and it was, this came out of the Akron Beacon Journal, Akron, Ohio, and it was the November 20th, 2019 edition. Here's another story. A Chicago man, 30, was leaving a business December 1st at 4.45 p.m. when two men approached, at least one of whom was armed. With his handgun drawn, the one suspect allegedly demanded that the man hand over his property. Instead, the armed citizen who had a valid concealed carry license drew his own handgun and fired at the armed man who fled on foot with his accomplice. No arrests were made and the suspects were still at large, according to Chicago Police, Chicago Sun-Times, Chicago, Illinois, December 2, 2019. Next is a 23-year-old masked man allegedly entered a Fort Wayne, Indiana apartment on March 31st at 4 p.m. after breaking down the front door. Hearing breaking glass, the resident in his bedroom with his girlfriend realized it was the front door. He grabbed his AR-15 platform pistol, took a position on one knee, and aimed at the bedroom doorway, according to court documents. The suspect, wearing all black, came into the doorway, pointing a semi-automatic handgun. The resident fired at the intruder who retreated into the living room and then to the kitchen where they exchanged gunfire. The suspect ran out of the front door bleeding, left a trail of blood through the parking lot, and fled into an SUV with a group of men. Local law enforcement arrived shortly afterwards and were notified of about an SUV matching a bystander's description that had run red lights. The officer located the suspect at a nearby emergency room where he was being treated for a gunshot wound to his upper thigh. Police charged him with burglary with a deadly weapon carrying a handgun without a license, residential break-in and criminal recklessness committed with a deadly weapon. The suspect was held in a county jail without bail. This came out of the Journal Gazette, Fort Wayne, Indiana, November 21st, 2019. And then I've got two more of these stories, and uh, we'll just wrap this video up. A firefighter, also a reserve deputy constable, was working on his home under construction May 2018 in Zachary, Louisiana, at 3.30 a.m. when an armed male, 23, approached him while riding a bicycle. The robber demanded money, but when the firefighter said he had none, he was forced at gunpoint into his vehicle and told to drive to multiple ATMs where he withdrew cash. According to sheriff's deputies, unhappy with the amount of money, the robber told the firefighter to go to his residence and get his wife's ATM card. The firefighter asked the man to wait outside because he had a large dog inside that would attack. 
The robber agreed, but threatened to kill the man and his family if he didn't return to the vehicle. Once inside, the firefighter told his wife to call 911 and armed himself. The robber became impatient, entered the house, and was promptly shot once by the armed citizen who disarmed the robber and detained him until police showed up. The robber was briefly treated for injuries from the gunshot and released from the hospital. He was then booked into East Baton Rouge Paris Prison and convicted October 31st of aggravated burglary, armed robbery, and aggravated kidnapping, the last of which carries a mandatory sentence of life in prison. And this was reported in The Advocate, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, November 1st, 2019. And the last story, on October 22nd, a Virginia man allegedly forced his way into an apartment after 9 p.m. when a tenant shot him in the leg, according to the Scott County Sheriff's Office. The suspect, who fled the scene on foot, was apprehended nearby police less than an hour later after being treated for minor injuries. The suspect was charged with breaking and entering with intent to commit larceny. The suspect reportedly knew the tenant and had a criminal history. The armed citizen is disabled and acted in self-defense according to investigators. And this was the WJHL.com out of Johnson City, Tennessee. It was October 22nd, 2019. So you could find that there. It's at WJHL.com. And once again, that date was October 22nd, 2019. It was also reported in another paper in Bristol, Virginia. But that was, once again, is your arm, the armed citizen coming out of your NRA publication. Uh, this one, the American Hunter, they make the American Rifleman uh, magazine as well. But to wrap up this video, I've got my Bible in front of me and some people think that we should not have the ability, shouldn't own firearms. Uh, it's, it's an interesting discussion at times. I do enjoy my firearms for hunting and for shooting targets, planking, if you will. But uh, in my Bible, I've got it open to Luke 22nd chapter, 36th verse. And this is where, where Jesus was speaking. Then he said to them, But now he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. What do you suppose Jesus was saying here? Apparently, he was saying, uh, you know, it's it, arm yourself, protect yourself. But uh, you can leave it in the comments what you think Jesus was saying there. Uh, maybe I'll see from your point of view. Then a lot of the question comes, where do our liberties come from, from the government or from God? So over in Luke, once again, chapter 4, verse 18. Let's see, chapter 4, verse 18, and this was Jesus speaking again. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Well, thank you for tuning in, viewing, and uh, look forward to many more videos. In uh, the Reedy Chronicles, we cover multiple subject matters. I have uh, some of my YouTube friends out there watching, making comments, uh, actually in person, that uh, they enjoy seeing these videos, and I enjoy making them, sharing my thoughts with you that uh, gives us all some time to meditate upon, if not looking at the Bible, but what's happening in the world around us. But anyway, you have a blessed day.